What's up, y'all? It's Amanda DV here, rocking out on up and coming entertainment. And if you're not up, you're not coming. Ladies and gentlemen, up and coming entertainment, we have a boss in the building, Mr. Alexander DeVoe. What's going on? Tell the people out there what is it you do. <laughs> um, I direct adult movies, adult entertainment for people to uh, take their homes, pop in their VCR, DVDs, whatever, and um, have a blast. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. <laughs> How did you walk into this business? You know what, actually, that's a, it's, it's a long story, man. Like, I started, um, Actually, 12 years ago in Hawaii, um, I was going to school to, to study law, like to be an attorney, and then I took a couple of production classes, and, and then it's like um, the production side came together with the creative side, and then I just had an interest in, in making porn, and then that's how it started for me. I started from watching, buying a camera, to actually setting it up, and um, filming my girl, like, their friends, and then doing it for fun and just having an interest in and wanting to come and do it professionally. And you crossed over, you started as a performer, now a director. Actually, you know what, I didn't, I didn't start as a performer. Like, how I started was, was as a director, as somebody who was shooting, and it didn't become like a performance thing until I came back to LA. Like, I lived in Hawaii for 11 years, and then when I came back with my girl, we would go to companies and they want to shoot us together. I mean, that's actually how I started. So I was never, quote unquote, like a performer, and then I crossed over to being a director. Like, I started doing everything before I came back to LA. And being a director, how did you get hooked up with companies distributing your movies? Um, to, to get to that point, like, it, it was, it was, uh, uh, I wouldn't say it was a long process, but for me, like, I'd have to go back to how I started when I first came into the L.A., like, porn world. That was almost 10 years ago. Like, me and my ex, Diana, jumped off the plane, we came here, we had a, a goal in mind of what we wanted to achieve. We went to the companies, people were excited about us. They started shooting us, and then from, from us being shooting, being shot in front of the camera, it, lead, it, it led to me going to West Coast and then saying that I could shoot camera and then giving me an opportunity to go out and, and be on the road and shoot our first project on the road. And from shooting the first project on the road, that just led to me getting a contract position at West Coast. And from a contract position at West Coast, I ended up getting contacted from Jimmy Jordan. And then three months after the first contract, I got offered a distribution deal with Jimmy Jordan video. So it was uh, a progression of uh, from having an idea that I wanted to do this, telling people I wanted to do this, having a goal to, to, to accomplish it, actually taking the steps that I needed to accomplish it, and then making everything happen. And from there, it led me to where I am today. Who are some of your people you like to work with? Um, there's, there's a lot of people that I've worked with. In, in the past that I've shot their first scene, like Roxy Reynolds, like Carmen Hayes, uh, Beauty, Dior, Cherokee, I did some of her stuff, early stuff back in the day. So, I mean, I have a list, Pinky, like, I mean, it, it just goes on. Award, Julie, Nakara, um, Dana, D.R. Mon, Party Star, like, Flower. There's a whole bunch of people that are offered that I've had the opportunity to work with, and I've been kind of lucky in the sense that I've got to shoot a whole bunch of different types of songs. And uh, male people as well, like I shot Lex, Lexington Steel back in the early days, Mr. Marcus. Um, Wesley Pipes, he's one of my all-time favorites. We, we've been, since back in the day, like I shot Wes, you know, way back then. Julian was one of the first guys that I actually met that I admired before I came into the business. And he was one of those dudes that, that extended his hand and shook my hand, you know, back in the day. And he was cool, like we always used to hang out when I first came in. 
so those guys like I admired, you know, from the early days, and we're still good friends to this day. For me, it was like, I, I feel like a lot of people that come into form today don't really have the respect that I had when I first came in. Like, people come in and like, they don't really know the form. Like, they just like come into the game and it's like, oh, I, I, want, I want to be put on, but there's, there's, no, there's no history there. So with us, like, you know, from, from back in the, the, the era around 2000, you know, those are kind of like the, the, the classic dudes that, that were back there. Do you have any pet peeves when you're on set shooting? Like, what's the one thing that will just piss you off? I think my, my <clears throat> number one thing is if I come across somebody who has this, this um, thing where they're not 100% into the performance. So with me, I try to I try not to shoot those types of people. So before somebody gets to the point where they're in front of my camera, I, I kind of weed those things out in the interview process. And if I feel like you don't have what it takes in order for me to shoot you, you never get to that to that point when you're actually coming on set and, and me, you know, picking up a camera and like letting the scene happen. So I, I think the answer to that question is it's like you're not. 100% involved in the, the performance of the So if you don't have that within you, it's like that irritates the show. First impressions count on everything. And how do fans can reach out to you? You know, I'm always accessible. Like you can, you can contact me at Mr. DeVoe, M R D E D O E, at alexanderdevoe.com, or you can go to jewjordanleo.com. There's a blog. Like people can have direct contact with me. So if you want to see something or make a suggestion, if you want to see a performer, if you want to you know, submit an idea for a scene or something you want to see, you know, I'll always interact with the fans. Like directly email or, or the blog, I'm always on the blog. And I know you have many accomplishments in your career. You have Urban Space Awards to your credit, Urban X Awards, and the most important, the AVN Award. How does that feel? to be recognized by AVN? AVN was a long time coming from me. Like, I had been nominated like, you know, for a long time, I mean, many years. Like, last AVN, I had 10 nominations and I walked away with two. Um, it was like a stamp, but like for me, it was like it was a stamp on it. Like, for, for, for an AVN process, it was like, okay, well, this is validation because I felt like I should have won like a long time ago. And a lot of people were always coming up to me. Like those years I was nominated prior to that. And they were like, oh man, you should have you should have won that award. Um, but I feel like now like I don't really give a fuck if I ever win another AVN award. It's just the fact that, you know, it's done and it's behind me. And, and obviously now what's more important to me is is the urban next week. I'm really committed to that. I'm really committed to, to seeing that Urban X is bigger and it's becoming more successful as, as we, you know, as we put more shows behind us. Tell the fans something that they don't know about you. At home, I'm just like a regular dude. Like, I don't, I don't really do like porn 24-7. Like, there's a, there's a totally different like side to, to me. Like, on I'm and like, off switch. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's like, you know, people probably would assume that I mean, because I like to shoot pretty stuff that, you know, I'm like that at home. But honestly, like, I'm, I'm real, like, family oriented. Like, I have a, a three year old daughter, I have a wife. So we try to have as normal a life as possible with, within the context of what it is that we do together and what we do, like, as individual people. Like, I'm, I'm a family man, first and foremost, and, and I'm, a, I'm a, a dad and a father. So, you know, that's kind of like what people really don't know about me because I don't really put it out there, you know, as being such. Like, this will probably be the first time that I actually say something about, you know, the family aspects of, of what I do as part of my personality. What does the Urban X Awards mean to you? Oh, man, that's... <laughs> to me, Urban X is... is... coming together. is is celebrating every everything about adult, everything that's cool about adult, everything that that ABN is not, 
you know, ABM is exclusive. Like, it pushes, you know, certain people to the side that have always wanted to be a part of this, this business of adult. And, and Urban X is brings everybody together, just like the, the award show that we had last night. It's like a big melting pot where, you know, there's white, there's Latin, there's Asian, there's black, there's everybody all together vibing and talking and, and, and talking about, like, you know, what happened on set. It, it, it's just like a family reunion to me. It, it, it's a movement, man. And, and I think it's just going to get bigger, like, as, as each show happens and we move on to the next, this buzz is just going to be created. And it's going to, you know, carry on to be real big. The boss, Alexander DeVoe.